Hello guys and very welcome to this video. So I am standing here on a parking lot and uh, actually talking to you here <laughs> and my plan with this video is that I am now going to test it a little bit more. I am going to take it to the nearest small village here and uh, try the DC charging port uh, to this car because uh, I have only charged it uh, at home and it is working pretty okay. Not perfectly okay because I have done some mods to the charging system, uh, but anyway, that's no problem. And um, the, the big problem is if the DC charging port not is working, well, then I have uh, some bigger problems. So that's why I am now going to take the car down to this charging station and try that out and see if it's working. Uh, so. As always, very welcome, and uh, here we go, guys. By the way, it's really windy outside today, so I think that it can be a lot of wind noise uh, when I am outside of the car there later. So, it is what it is, we have to live with that. And by the way, I see that the state of charge is uh, going down. We now have uh, 61%. But when I have stand there for a few minutes with ignition on, it will go back up again. And I think that uh, it is calculating the cur current that will go out from the battery, of course. But then when you have been standing there for a while, it will also cross-check that with the cell voltages and maybe correct that uh, state of charge because if you haven't seen my earlier videos I uh, have a leaf BMS uh, to this uh, system and uh, it is for a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack there from the beginning but I have uh, removed all of those cells and installed uh, some modules from Volkswagen instead so instead of 40 kilowatt hours we now have 55 kilowatt hours with us so I think that uh, that might be the reason why the state of charge is uh, going down when I, uh, when I am driving and then go up a few percent there when I have been standing still there with the ignition on. I'm not sure, but I think uh, that can be the reason. But anyway, 61% state of charge, I think that's a pretty good number to come in and uh, fast charge it with. See if it uh, will start to... Uh, receive the whole 40 kilowatt i think that the battery might be a little cold for that actually i only have around 10 degrees in my garage there so i think that it can be a little on the cold side so it's probably cold gating but that's fine i mean i am happy if i see that i can reach uh, 20 kilowatt or something at least that it takes something then it's a good sign that it is actually working at all Yep, so let's keep on driving here. actually think that I am going to take the other side here. So I have to go out here again. Yes. 
So uh, there we have the DC charging port. This one seems to be the shutter move. Let's try that. So, <laughs> it's a little embarrassing if everything will just go up in smoke here. So that's pretty nice. It will not lay over the fender or anything like that. So now I will open up the app and see if I can get some connection here. All right, guys, I have now tried this out. Uh, I think it's six or seven times and uh, the charger doesn't seem to connect to the car. So I have to check the wiring there and read the wiring diagram if I have connect uh, everything correct or if I have missed something. So <sighs> sadly, that has to be in another video, but uh, however, you cannot have success every time. I am pretty satisfied anyway with this car. So it's uh, probably on my side, I really hope that anyway. Uh, but I will of course let you know in the near future. So that will be pretty much everything for this video guys. And uh, as always, I really hope that I see you next time. I think I will leave the camera on there if you would like to come with me for a ride. Oh, it's so much sand still left here on the roads. It's really hurt.